A forest is a top-level container in ADDS. Each forest is a collection of one or more domain trees that share a common directory schema and a global catalog. A domain tree is a collection of one or more domains that share a contiguous namespace. The first domain that you create in the forest is called the forest root domain. The forest root domain contains a few objects that do not exist in other domains in the forest. Because you always create these objects on the first domain controller, a forest can consist of as few as one domain with a single domain controller, or it can consist of hundreds of domains across multiple domain trees. The following objects exist only in the forest root domain. The schema master role. This is a special, forest-wide domain controller role. Only one schema master exists in any forest. You can change the schema only on the domain controller that holds the schema master. The domain naming master role. This is also a special, forest-wide domain controller role. Only one domain naming master exists in any forest. Only the domain naming master can add new domain names to the directory. The Enterprise Admins Group By default, the Enterprise Admins Group has the administrator account for the forest root domain as a member. The Enterprise Admins Group is a member of the local administrators group in every domain in the forest. This allows members of the Enterprise Admins Group to have full control administrative rights to every domain throughout the forest. The Schema Admins Group By default, the Schema Admins Group has no members. Only members of the Enterprise Admins Group or the Domain Admins Group in the Forest Root Domain can add members to the Schema Admins Group. Only members of the Schema Admins Group can make changes to the schema. Security Boundary an ADDS forest is a security boundary. By default, no users from outside the forest can access any resources inside the forest. Typically, an organization creates only one forest, although you can create multiple forests to isolate administrative permissions among different parts of the organization. By default, all the domains in a forest automatically trust the other domains in the forest. This makes it easy to enable access to resources, such as file shares and websites, for all the users in a forest, regardless of the domain to which they belong. Replication Boundary An ADDS forest is the replication boundary for the configuration and schema partitions in the ADDS database. As a result, all the domain controllers in the forest must share the same schema. Because of this, organizations that want to deploy applications with incompatible schemas need to deploy additional forests. The ADDS forest is also the replication boundary for the global catalog. The global catalog makes it possible to find objects from any domain in the forest. For example, the global catalog is used whenever user principal name, UPN, sign-in credentials are used or when Microsoft Exchange server address books are used to find users.